Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblum, and you're watching the Theo Notley video for the 28th of January, 2020, and it's earnings day, earnings week, earnings month. Uh, the chart we're looking at right now is Apple, which, as of this video, right after they announced earnings, is bullish. Now, of course, we're going to see what happens over the next 30 minutes, in the next hour, and the next few hours before Wednesday's trading session. Keep in mind, Wednesday's trading session also happens to be a Fed day. So we watch that closely. But in tonight's video, we're talking about earnings and strong stocks. So right now we have this Apple play or Apple move after hours on bullish price activity. And it's not quite at that butterfly target of those expected moves for earnings. But nonetheless, we are getting an initial movement for Apple shares. We'll come back to that in a moment. AMD also reported aftermarket close, and we're seeing more volatility. So a little bit of a push up, down, up. You'll know more than I by the time you see this video what the end result of the earnings numbers and price movement is. And of course, how that plays onto the bigger picture. Beyond that, we also have Starbucks, which reported its earnings just a moment ago. And we have a little bit of a tighter spread or expected move for the earnings play. But nonetheless, once again, jump, fall. Starbucks is trading a little bit lower, but not that much. And this is a five minute chart with overnight activity. You can distinguish the overnight activity with the no volume. And so that's how we'll look at the day structure and the earnings play. I'm just quickly going through these key names that were released in today's session. We also have eBay. And that is another volatile jump and a little bit down. United Technologies, they reported before the market opened. So that's UTX. And you see that it had some volatility and then faded, went the other way on a down move. And it was purchased or bought up into a trend day type of activity. And Lockheed Martin also was before the market opened. And there's some volatility as well, but the day ended roughly unchanged or flat. Uh, comparatively speaking, of course. There's one exception, and that is XLNX, which is a pretty big down move. That's going to go through the 100 level and really to 88. It's going to pivot or push off of 88 per share. Well, let's take a look at these. On the daily chart, you won't necessarily see how the earnings play out there. We'll do it in reverse order. XLNX is going to gap down to roughly here, which is a prior low. And that's a daily chart target. So watch that for a possible buy trade for XLNX. And your pivot is roughly 90 per share. So that's what the market will open up into tomorrow. Lockheed Martin, we see it. The other theme of tonight's video is the strong stocks getting stronger, led in part by Apple. And so we have Lockheed Martin, the defense contractor, in this persistent uptrend from 2019. And that continued with a gap up on strong bullish volume and additional upside activity. Any uncertainty, of course, in the political region or Middle East, etc., that tends to be a little bit bullish for defense contractors in general. And then UTX was before the market opened. Despite the volatility in today's wide range session, it did have a uptrend bounce buy. That's about, we can draw trend lines here, 150 per share. So as a swing trader, it's good to look for these type of patterns to put trades on. We don't want to get long into a random spot. We typically want to get long, put in out spreads on, or vertical spreads, call spreads, to the upside when price interacts, touches, trades into a key price level. That can include the 50-day moving average. And we want to buy strong trending stocks on pullbacks or retracements. And this was an earnings play, so that may have been an override. And just some other ones in play today and after hours. eBay is into this 34.50 in a tight trading range at 36.50. So that may be an intraday scalp, long, short, short, long, or in the range tactics, short the highs, buy the lows. And so we get the breakout. Now we're going to talk more popular stocks here, Starbucks. If you have positions in Starbucks, the key pivot is going to 85 per share. And that was a little bit of a spike 
reversal down, downside activity against 95. But your key pivot is going to be that 200 day simple and this 87.50. So going through earnings, that's your spot to watch. AMD continues to be one of these strong stocks. Remember, we keep trading range tactics, short the highs, buy the lows, short the highs, buy the lows, short the highs until the stock breaks out. And the clue for these type of trades that the market is likely to break out as opposed to staying within the range is volume. So if the market is interacting, touching, testing, hitting a key pivot level, 28 per share in this example, with reduced or small volume that is not likely to see a breakout. The opposite is true when you see high volume. And of course, it is a relative basis. So looking at volume as an indication, we'll do that. We see the market hitting into resistance, 34, on high bull volume. And so we don't necessarily want to put on short sell positions, put spreads or in out spreads bearishly against a level that is showing strong bull volume. And that can lead to breakouts. And the positions are easier done on the retracement. So that's just a tactic. Theme once again is strong stocks getting stronger and just a quick checkup on this week's main earnings or specifically today's earnings. So AMD like Apple, a tech stock, is a buy or has been a buy and is a push up off of this 48 per share level. If you've seen and followed along with this technology, XLK, has actually been one of the, if not the strongest sectors every day this week and really before that. So technology, NASDAQ, other components of the tech grouping of stocks or just sector, that's been an in-play type of environment. Same is true with NASDAQ and of course the Qs, the quad, Q, uh, quad used to be quad, the triple Qs. And those levels are in play as the uptrends continue. Well, there's a big stock we haven't talked about yet. We did it in reverse order. It's Apple. So here's Apple. We're going to see a gap to the upside. We won't know exactly by the time this video is finished. You'll know more than I will. So whatever positions you have for butterflies or spreads, keep in mind that strongly trending stocks tend to keep trending. And so it's good to put these bull positions on and pullbacks. I get it. I understand. I'm a trader like you. These things look scary in real time. They look rough. They look spooky. It doesn't feel comfortable. That's why we like spreads because a bull spread, call spread, in out spread or vertical, there's little differences in how you want to play these. And we have those in the Theotrade archives. You have your risk fixed. So you can't lose more than what you put into that spread. And that's not the case if you're buying shares or just buying a flat out call. You have the price of the call you might lose, but if you're buying shares, that's not the same way. So we think about risk. But I understand that pullbacks in uptrending markets can be very short. They can be very quick. And when it's time to buy, it looks scary. And the opportunity slips us by and we don't buy. So pullbacks are a lot safer strategy, at least in terms of thinking about risk before reward. If you're thinking reward, just get long Apple and don't worry about it. But of course, we don't do that. And one way we manage risk is not just by trading spreads, which has an inherent profit and loss built into it. We do so on pullbacks or retracements to give us timing into these stocks. So we'll finish with the S&P as it pulled back. I understand how scary that looked as an intraday specific trader. I remember I was there. But today gave us a bullish bounce. So again, I'm comparing this to that or what's happening now to what happened in December. And that was the end of the Thanksgiving rally. Two days, three days, and off to the races and market goes. We'll certainly have the Fed Day and additional earnings this week. So pay attention to us. Watch Dawn Sessions. Watch us all here at Theotrade during the day. And of course, the email updates and videos as they are delivered. But always be careful and safe. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theo Nightly video for January 28th, 2020.